Hello everyone, I'm Taylor with Pocket Now, and we are here in Berlin at Samsung's Unpacked event where it just announced the Galaxy Note 4. But alongside that device we got an additional little prize, the Galaxy Note Edge. Samsung's been teasing this display that just kind of flows over the edge of the device, and they call it thusly, the Edge Display. Um, it just kind of wraps around the edge of the phone, and it gives you an additional bar of information. So whether it's notifications or status for stocks or your S health information, or just your home screen bar, which gives you shortcuts to some of your most used apps. So you have some functionality there. You can even check your, your notifications with a certain case, which we couldn't find any displays of, but it does give you some additional functionality. We're not certain how much functionality you're actually gonna get out of this, but Samsung seems to think there's a lot behind it and that this is innovative and it's gonna change the way that we use our phones. As far as design goes, this phone looks and feels a lot like the Galaxy Note 4. It's very similar, it has the leather around back, it has the same button configuration on the front, and it just looks very similar, save for the display, which kind of floats over the right edge. And even on paper, these two phones are very, very similar. They have pretty much all the same specifications, except the Galaxy Note Edge comes with a smaller battery, 3000 mAh versus the 3,220 milliamp hours on the Galaxy Note 4. It has two storage options, 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. And its display, um, if you factor in the curve and all of that, is just a hair smaller. It's 5.6 inches, whereas the Galaxy Note 4's is 5.7, of course. They're both Quad HD. They both come with three gigabytes of RAM, the same chipsets. Pretty much everything else is exactly the same under the hood, even the cameras, which is a 3.7 megapixel front camera. That's f1.9 and it is a 90 degree wide angle camera, so that's very good, especially if you're into taking selfies. And the rear camera is 16 megapixels with hardware stabilization, something we've been begging Samsung to do for the longest time. And of course, being a Galaxy Note, this thing does come with an S Pen and all of the new S Pen features like Smart Select, which we found to be very helpful. It also has the new multi-window feature and much, much more, especially considering the curved display and what other features it will bring in the future. But so far, this is a pretty interesting thing. It, I think it's more interesting because it's different than anything else. And oh, one more thing. With that display bleeding over on the right edge, the power button can't go there anymore, so the power button on this phone is actually on the top. So that might turn some of you away. I don't know, we'll see. But stay tuned to more IFA coverage here in Berlin on the Pocket Now channel. And until next time, I'm Taylor Martin, and thanks for watching.